in this video i am going to show you how to set up clavio pop-up conversion tracking for facebook pixel my name is nasim and i am a top rated freelancer on upwork with more than six years of working experience i love to share my experience and teach people how to build digital skills and make money from home so if you want to stay up to date then consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to check this video description because i will give all the resource link on there let's back to this topic as you can see this is my wordpress demo website and i already connected it to a clavio pop-up form so you can see if i input a form and i will get a 10 percent coupon code so it's actually demo now i want to set up a tracking for facebook I will use Google Tag Manager to set up my conversion tracking because this is the smart and easy way to set up conversion tracking like Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, etc. If you are not so technical, you can contact me. I am here to help you. Details on the description. Let's back here. This is my Google Tag Manager container. So first of all, I have to connect Google Tag Manager to our website. So for doing this, just copy this link and input the backend of this website so i already did that and hope you can do that so you can if you have a wordpress website you can also use a plugin so let's go on the preview and find a trigger because trigger is important so you can see i am on the preview of this website now website is connected to google tag manager and you can see my website is connected to my tag assistant and if i open my pop-up from here simply click this give button and you can see if i uh, input a demo at my lead here and hit the get coupon you can see this is actually the conversion so here you can see a unique event which is clavio is our unique event so just copy it and make a trigger so this trigger will help us to send this event to our facebook pixel okay so make a trigger so this is actually a custom trigger so choose custom event and paste the exact same name that you got from your event so i want to make clavier trigger so you can choose anyone it's not important so now it's time to make a tag because our trigger is ready now we need a tag for sending this event to facebook pixel so for doing this we need to open a new tag so here you can see i am opening a new tag for sending this event so i need to choose the facebook pixel app so you can see it's facebook pixel made by facebook archive if if you don't see here just search on the gallery then you will get this app so just you need to install it to your container so if you see it this is the community templates gallery and if you search facebook you will see few templates here that it you need to choose the right one which is facebook by facebook archive and here you can see we need to choose a facebook pixel code first so actually we need to make two tag for one tag for connecting facebook pixel to our website and then the event so here you can see this is facebook pixel and this is the first event which is page view and it will fire for all page so you can see i'm choosing all page so it's actually the basic connection to facebook pixel to our website using google tag manager now we need to make another event for sending the specific event so let's choose a new tag just choose the exact same template which is facebook pixel and input the facebook pixel code again and choose the custom event that we want to send so for this video i want to choose lead so and then just select our trigger so trigger actually clavio trigger just select it and then save it and you can 
also rename it so it's facebook pixel and i want to keep clavio and then save it and after save our almost our work is done so now go on the preview and test this event is working or not so you can see my website is connecting to google tag manager preview mode it's actually the test mode you can say so you can say my website is opening here and it's successfully connected and let's go to open this pop-up and hit a test email and hit the button and check the extension and lead event is here so that's mean it successfully connected a custom lead event to our facebook pixel and now you can make the custom audience based on your event so that's it so when you publish this version it will start working otherwise it won't work so you need to keep in mind that if you need my assist open my calendar link and book a 15 minute free pre-project call with your date and time and then fill up a little steps i would love to assist you if you think this video was useful then hit the thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day